Hello everyone and welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley. I'm the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. And today we're going to show you how to scrape data using a Google Sheet. Okay, so we'll have you go to this web page if you want to hit pause here and open it up. It's a bit.ly link, bit.ly slash spj data scrape. bit.ly slash spj data scrape. And then we're going to have you load a spreadsheet by typing in sheets.new into your Chrome browser field. So pause for a minute and open up the data scraping worksheet and also type in sheets.new into the Chrome browser field so you have another uh, spreadsheet open in Google Sheets. Okay, welcome back. Um, this is journalisttoolbox.org. Um, if you scroll down the website, uh, uh, and uh, see on the left rail here, we have a data visualization and online tools section. Um, and if you click on that page and go in and uh, you'll see here, there's a lot of uh, uh, resources for finding, scraping and cleaning data. Um, uh, among them, uh, this exercise that we're going to do right now called scraping in Google Sheets. Uh, there's also tools like Tabula that uh, we've done another training with where you can scrape PDFs and things like that. But today we're going to scrape data from a web page and drop it into a Google Sheet. Uh, and that's what scraping is. It's taking information off of one format and putting it into a workable format, a spreadsheet, a Word doc, whatever you happen to be working with, uh, where you can take and use it and sort it and filter it and you'll find a story in the numbers. Um, so to do that, uh, we're going to use this little exercise uh, that I developed based off of a training that ProPublica's Lena Groger did, and I put her uh, name and her Twitter handle up here at the top of the page. She's a great follow on Twitter. Um, but Lena showed us this uh, formula uh, a few years ago that allows us to scrape data off of a web page. Uh, so if you scroll down on the page to steps one through five here, the page we're going to scrape is listed under step two here. And the page we're going to scrape is the FDIC's failed bank list. Now, they've got a nice download data button out here now. It uh, uh, wasn't here a few months ago. And uh, typically, on most government websites, you're not going to see a nice download data button. Uh, here's a, a page uh, from the National Inter Interagency Fire Center that has uh, all of the uh, acres and wildfires uh, listed for each year. As you can see, there's no download data button. It's just a big, ugly table. And these tables were once used to design web pages, but now are used uh, primarily for listing and, and packaging information like this in a, a list format. Um, if you notice here, there's 25 rows and seven columns. You have a name of a bank, the uh, city and state it's from, uh, the, the closing date, uh, you know, when the failure uh, came about, uh, and then the acquiring institution that uh, came in and bought that bank. If you click on the last tab here, uh, you'll see it's not 25 rows deep, but 561 rows deep. So this isn't something you could really rekey, or you know, let's say the PIO isn't going to send you the spreadsheet. Uh, but you know, if you had it in spreadsheet format, you could sort it, filter it, really find some interesting uh, uh, outcomes. You know, you could search by state, search by city, search by closing date, uh, acquiring institution, and really see some interesting trends in there. Um, so what we're going to do is scrape this out of here using what's called a formula. Now, you've probably used formulas before, um, maybe to calculate a math problem, equal sign sum or equal sign average in Excel or in Google Sheets. This is an outward facing formula. Equal sign import HTML. It means we're importing hypertext markup language from a web page. We're going to plug the URL or the web page right in here. We're going to tell it what to scrape. It's going to be called a table. And then the number to uh, the element to scrape on the page, which is almost always going to be zero. It tells people to start at the top of the page and scrape from the bottom down. So steps two, three, and four here list how to put this formula together. What I want you to do is scroll down to step five, which lists the formula. It's all filled out. Import HTML from the FDIC failed banks list. We're going to have it import a table from the top of the page. Now take and copy this, copy the entire formula, and go to your browser window and type in sheets.new. This is a great little hack, great little shortcut to get a Google Sheet. You don't have to go into your Google Drive, just type in sheets.new, and then always remember to save it somewhere when you're done. Uh, make sure you go to File, Save As, and, and go in and save it or move to and move it to your uh, appropriate folder. It'll default to uh, the top level of your uh, Google Drive. 
Um, label your spreadsheet by clicking in the upper left hand corner. And then all you have to do here, anytime you scrape, you always want to start in cell A1. Okay, you always want to have the top row be your label uh, and everything under it be the data. So it should never start with the numbers in the first row. And if you've copied your formula that I had up there under step five, just paste it now into cell A1. And you have just scraped 561 rows of a government database in about three seconds. So take a slow scroll through here. Make sure there's no missing rows or any garble in your uh, spreadsheet. Uh, there's nothing worse than sorting and filtering your data or starting to build with it uh, and find that there are missing elements in your sheet. So always do that slow scroll through it. It'll save you a ton of time on the back end. Check your final row. <clears throat> Bank of Honolulu. Go back to the FDIC failed banks list. Click on the last page. And you'll see Bank of Honolulu is there. So that way you know you captured everything in the sheet. Okay. So you could do these exercises on your own. Um, I have a bunch of blank uh, uh, formulas down here um, where all you have to do is drop in the web address where it says URL. Be careful not to delete out any uh, commas, quote marks, parentheses. It's a very finicky formula, very touchy formula, uh, and it will break if you don't uh, uh, code it properly. Uh, so you can take one of these pages, Copy that URL. There's National Union Agency Fire Center, College Football Coaches Salaries from USA Today, uh, Federal Highway Administration's uh, Bridge Inspections Database. It's a really good one to pull. It's got some great data in it. But you just copy them into where it says URL. Highlight the formula. Make sure there are no spaces in there. You didn't delete out a quote mark. Sheets.new. and then scrape away. Takes a second for it to load here. Paste your formula in. And you now have the Inter uh, National Interagency Fire Center, uh, wildland fires and acres uh, for uh, close to uh, 100 years here. Um, Sure you label it. Uh, into if you start to sort and filter this and it disappears on you, the data happens to disappear. Um, uh, just do this little hack to work around it. Just go to download and download it as an Excel spreadsheet and bring it back into Google Sheets uh, and it'll clean out any of those problems. You can also save it as a comma separated values file as well. Um, so that's the exercise. This uh, uh, SPJ data scrape uh, handout. Uh, feel free to take this and share it with your staff. Uh, just go to File, Download, save it as a uh, Word doc, share it with your staff. Uh, you can move it over uh, and copy it over into uh, uh, Google Drive if you like. Um, but do share this with your staff. Train your interns on this uh, in newsrooms, uh, college instructors. Do this whole exercise with your students at the start of class for about 10 minutes. Uh, and get them these basic scraping still skills. Um, that's all I had for now. Uh, we'll be back with some more trainings uh, in a little while.